Well, Dick, they've passed their first test. The second round game, though, should prove to be more difficult between the San Diego State Aztecs and the Virginia Cavaliers. This is where both teams wanted to be, Dick. Let's not wait any longer to get this one started. The Cavaliers are short of a tough battle tonight, Dick. What's uh, the key for them to succeed? Here's what I think, Brad. First of all, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Second, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Finally, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. The point guard handles the feed. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Emery receives the pass. Great play to take that to the basket. <laughs> High post flashes for the ball handler. And they get the turnover. He quickly brings it up court. He got the layup to go and the foul is called. Hey, he saw that he was going to get fouled, but he stuck to the path in spite of it. The Cavaliers go to the line for the first time in this game. Good. On the outside. And the ball goes out of play. Here's a flash from the high post. Double team now, bad angle. From left of the circle. And a momentary look from three-point land. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Keeps the dribble as they reset. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. I tell you, nothing like having those legs, man, where you bounce right off the floor. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Brian Dick, I don't know if you can hear it from where you are, but I can hear it clearly. The coach is stressing to his team, go inside, go inside. They've been effective in this area all night long. What an asset to have. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play, you got a chance to really to win. Fed the low block. There's the trap. Trying to pack it inside. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. On the dribble, gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. He'll regroup the offense. Inside, the power forward receives the ball, puts it on the floor and up and under. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Inside, and there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? The shooting guard handles the pass. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. And now they'll bring it up. Gave it up. For the bucket. Doesn't go. Trying to draw some contact. Up and in. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Go 
goes up for two. Up, easy one. Westbrook is animated and ready to go. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Foul called off the pro hop. Nice move to the hoop. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing. They bring a lot of spirit. With the free throw. He can't get one to fall. Makes the shot. Moving it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, laying in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. The skip pass is picked off. Trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. And with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Gave it up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Time to pick up the defense here now. For two, perfectly executed. Definitely worth another look, Brad. The Cavaliers have a mismatch in the post. Can we get them the ball, though? There they come with a double team to stop it. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Ten seconds showing on the shot clock. I think they're trying to make a statement. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Up and inside. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. He's going nowhere. Ball oh, no. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. High post flashes for the opportunity. A high screen. Goes up for two. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Puts up the shot. He buries it. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Tries for two. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. On the dribble, gives it up. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I think good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Good job defensively. And again, they look to run. For two, he shows the sweet touch. Working it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. 
You see it time and time again. Star players make plays. Man, I say it all the time. It makes life much easier when you have a guy in your roster who can make these types of plays. Should have basketball help one another communicate. Kicks it out for the bucket. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Looking for contact. Great play to take that to the basket. Shoots from downtown. It's good. Entry pass in the paint. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Gave it up. See too much mustard there. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. They still don't score. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. All right, thanks, Aaron. Kicking back outside. From right in the circle, he gets the bucket to fall. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Fake. He uses the shot fake. He tries a jump hook. And in and out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Virginia are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. That's basic. They work it around the perimeter. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop step. Here's a double team. From beyond the arc, he hits the shot. Thinks about the shot. Executes the baby hook. Can't get the shot to go. On the dribble, gives it up. Boy, terrible execution on offense. They'll work it around the arc. Gave it up. Entry and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Drops the bucket despite the harm. in the low block but opted against it way out on top controlling the ball outside jumper he's good for another score heads in his face anytime now boys on the outside 
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He was looking for the call, and he got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul, no doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Get that sucker out of the game, man. They run it up into transition. Looking for a good shot. For two, and off the mark. They really seem to be letting this one get away, Dick. Yeah, there's been a breakdown somewhere. They need to talk this one over, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. And he'll kick it back outside. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Fake. Tries to get the D to bite. Now the turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. There's the trap. Stolen away. Gave it up. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating to the spot. Goes up for two. The Aztecs have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, and the real extension. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. That's a high post screen, goes to the lane. The ball goes out of bounds. and went the other way. Jumps into the defender. Virginia are in a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Stolen away. Ball was loose, but the defense got possession. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Uh, Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Working it around the perimeter. Walker draws the personal. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Makes his first substitution. I'll tell you what I like about him, Brad. He brings all kinds of energy to the floor. 
I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off it. Misses the free one. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. Tries for two. In and out. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He drains it. Leans in. He puts it in with contact and all. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Great shot block right there. They had some good movement on the offensive side. With a rejection. And the ball goes out of bounds. Ten on the shot clock. On the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. I tell you, he's got every move in the book. What an offensive player. That fadeaway is impossible to block. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Steele go up the other way. Get a layup. My goodness. Players these days and the athleticism basically jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up with a shot. That was a brick, man. That was an ugly, ugly look. They're working around the perimeter. A whistle and foul. The coach now happy on the sideline. He goes to the line for the first time. He hits it. Hits the second shot. Gave it up. Poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball with a deck. Where's he going? From the top of the key, it sticks. Wow. Can we get slow-mo, please? He shoots from long range. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Cavaliers are up by 12. We've had a tooth and nail battle so far, Dick. What was the play of the half, do you think? This trifecta was the key for me, Brad. It opened up the game in the first half. It'll be interesting to see if they can keep up the outside shooting in the second. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out.
Virginia is showing tremendous accuracy from the floor in the first half, partner. They're so well coached, man. Working the ball around for the high percentage shot. That's a lot of maturity, man. They really are a mature basketball team. Second half of play, Nick. NCAA tournament game doesn't get much bigger than this, but of course it's going to be even bigger for the team that comes out on top when it's all over. I is in shape, Brad, because both these clubs are playing so well. They're such quality teams, but it's going to come down at the end. I think you better be able to convert on that free throw line, and you got to get some easy baskets. I think every basket has been a struggle offensively. They got to find a way to get some conversions in transition. Fakes. The small forward takes the pass. He shoots from the top of the circle. Misses on the jumper from three. High post flashes. Intercepted. On the outside, the power forward with the ball. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Good. Dribble gives it up. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. On the outside, they've left him completely alone. Takes the three-pointer. In the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Picks off the pass. The point guard takes the feed for the bucket. Look at that time. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. In the paint. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Move it into the front court. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Well, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Keep your eye right on the ball here. Side of the low block, unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in, and a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He shoots from left of the circle. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game.
The players got a much needed breather with that timeout. Come with a double team to stop it. Steal. It's a fast break possibility. Jumps in. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Turnover City, that will always really negate any offense. The ball goes out of play. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Nick, look at the number of points off turnovers. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. The defender is still applying great ball pressure, Brad. He looks for the bomb. He's money with a shot. Roll that one back. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the ball. And the ball goes out of play. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. the dribble gives it up he squares up down on the low block I tell you teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position you can drive shoot or you can pass they still don't score and he scores it off the glass and one too many dribbles and a steal goes up for two easy one perimeter gave it up goes up for two perfectly executed trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing he lets it go he doesn't get the hook the shooting guard gets the pass he hits the shot. Working it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Steals the pass. From the top of the circle, he gets it to fall. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. For the deuce. I love this guy, Hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Shooter spotting up on a three. He tries the three. He drains the bucket. It's stolen. Here we go on the break. Gliding in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. 
Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Steals the ball. Fast break opportunity here. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Looking for the foul, and he scores despite the hack. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. On the outside, they work it around the arc. Goes out of bounds. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. All right, thanks, Aaron. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Tries for two. That's an 8-0 run. Virginia may have been part of the biggest upset ever in college basketball at the Maui Invitational against the host Division II school, Chaminade. Hey, man, a oh man, was that something? Who would think that the number one ranked team in college basketball would lose to a Division II team? Offense gaining great post position that way. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. Hey, hey, why not? It's a team sport, right? He gets it to go. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Basket falls despite the contact. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. There's a high screen. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from left of the circle. Rims out. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards out there. Yeah, that helps. And the ball goes out of bounds. Gives it up. He takes the three. He misses it. Tries for two. Up and inside. Gave it up. The ball goes out of play. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're back. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picks off the lazy pass. That 
backspin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. A defensive player beats him to the spot. He intercepts it. For two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. The double team strips the ball. They get out on the break. Or two knocks it down. That's it. He don't answer. Moving it around the perimeter. Pull up jumper from way out. You bet. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move, and he does it exceptionally well. Working it around the perimeter. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. He puts up the tray. It's good. The replay will give us a better look. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Momentary look from three-point land. There's the pick. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. And he tries to spin away from the defender. I tell you, he's versatile in the post. He's got the spin move and a number of other activities. Has it rejected? Defense did a great job with the block shot. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. And the ball goes out of play. Pump them up then, young man. He wants everyone on their feet. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He goes for three. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Gave it up. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Trying to draw the foul. The land. They work the perimeter. With a tremendous block. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. It's what makes college so special. The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. On the outside, Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. That's been moves not going to work against the defense I'll like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Oh 
tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Great defense. He should have an easy bucket here, Brad. Goes up for two. Up, easy one. Replay, please. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Ten seconds to get it off. High post screen. So effective, that screen. They get the ball down low, and he hips up with his man, and down he goes. Hey, Brad, that's a flop. That's Mr. Flop right there. Don't call that, baby. From the baseline. Off the rim and no good. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the trap. With a deep shot from outside. He kept his dribble and read the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. hip and I think he's holding his ground Dick doing a great job I tell you doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off controlling the ball they work it around the perimeter gets it back out top of the circle they work it around the perimeter Gets the ball and now faces his man down on the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. These boys are slinging threes left and right, left, right, down the center, every play. Hey, they're going in from everywhere, baby. Looking for a good shot. Now they work it around the perimeter. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? Kicks it out. Count that as a personal foul. Dick, we get a look here at the front court players and how they're performing. Who can dominate the paint is the question, Mr. Nestler. Sometimes the bigs get lost with all of the guard play, but to win consistently, you need to have a balanced attack inside and outside. All right, Dick, this one's over. One team moves on. One team's got to go home, and that's the sad part about the NCAA tournament. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. Wow, Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. The Cavaliers is on their way to the Sweet 16 now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game.